Hello, Joe. I'm going to uh, show you how to uh, extrude your terrain into a 3D uh, watertight object. So the extrusions always happen in the Z direction. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to Adjust Object and uh, do a minus 90 degree rotation around the X axis. We're now in the uh, proper position. Now. Uh, your uh, uh, your your object uh, as is would need a lot of work if you wanted to turn uh, uh, everything into a watertight uh, mesh. If uh, you wanted to uh, include the uh, buildings, if we get up here and look, you'll see the the buildings. They all have no bottom and they're protruding through the uh, terrain. We would have to cut holes in the terrain and match up the uh, buildings with the, uh, with the mesh for the terrain. Uh, some of the new printers would allow you, uh, depending on the software they have, they would allow you to uh, put bottoms on your buildings and have uh, watertight meshes penetrating other uh, water tight meshes works on some printers won't work on others okay you don't uh, want the uh, buildings so we'll uh, delete them before we continue on now before that we'll go and look at this uh, uh, wall that you were building for uh, to hold up your terrain uh, it you have a lot of uh, well, Yes. Okay, you've uh, put a lot of supports uh, inside the inside the wall. It's just about as though you think you're building a a frame for a wooden building, and uh, you first put up the frame and then nail uh, plywood on the side. You don't do that for uh, a, a wall for 3D printing. Think of it as. Uh, pouring an unreinforced uh, concrete wall. This whole space in the center would be uh, empty and you would just have two forms supported by invisible supports on the outside and you just come along and pour your concrete on the inside. Now what we're going to do is get rid of the stuff that we don't want for printing. So I'm going to activate the delete layer mode and what shows up in green is uh, can be deleted so uh, I'm gonna hit delete layer and your wall is gone now I'm just going to uh, center here and I'm gonna click on one of your building I'm gonna right click on the on the building here to select that layer and I'm going to delete that one out and we still have roofs so I'm going to right click on the roofs to select that layer and delete that now we're down to just your terrain and as you were trying to build your 3D object you put uh, another uh, identical layer lower lower down so what I'm going to do is go into tools uh, triangle delete feature and I have both the top and the bottom highlighted in green so I'm going to go to the bottom position the cursor over hold down the shift key key and click the left mouse button and all the triangles are going to uh, turn red and since they're not connected to the ones on the top those ones are all still green so I'm going to uh, delete them and uh, send them into an undo buffer and then just click OK and now I have a, tra a terrain ready for uh, extrusion so I'm going to uh, go and if I, I could go to the tools menu and uh, select extrude pseudo 2d surface or I could have clicked the button over in this position so now we have our terrain and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, extrude it for a thickness of uh, 20 units and I'm going to extrude down so I'll make it a minus 20 and press the extrude button and now we've extruded down. Now if you wanted to build a wall to hold this whole thing up you could just build a wall that would fit uh, underneath that extrusion or
I could put a flat bottom on it and just say redo and we've now got the bottom on the uh, on our terrain once we have what we want click OK and here's our terrain with the same picture on the bottom and if I do a watertight check it says meshes are watertight this is all ready for 3D printing now you can also do the same thing in the DLL I'll bring up the uh, DLL and I already have the terrain loaded in the uh, in the DLL so I'll switch over to the extrude 2D page and uh, to start up the mode we click on extrude 2D surface the layer is already selected we get the values around I'll put in uh, minus 20 for the same extrusion we did before hit extrude there's the first extrude we had and want a flat bottom just redo it there's the flat bottom once we're done click extrude 2D surface and there it is all down so that's all you have to do to uh, extrude a 2D surface in Accutrans goodbye